Well, our next product sponsor is Kettlebell Concepts. And as you know, kettlebells have been around for a long time and they're really going through a high swing in popularity. Absolutely, They've yeah. actually been around for over 350 years. Really? Wow. Yep. That's but, you know, as with any weighted equipment, the key to safety is going to be technique and progression. Yeah. And so here today, we've got Vince Mezzo, and he's the Director of Education for Kettlebell Concepts, and he's going to be talking to us about those things. Great. Would you teach a yoga class or use a TRX, a Pilates reformer, or a Cadillac without being properly trained? Of course not. So don't make that mistake with kettlebells. Kettlebells require the same dedication, respect, and most importantly, proper training as other modalities to understand how to get the most for your clients. Kettlebell Concepts is the number one provider of CEC-approved courses specifically geared toward fitness and allied health professionals, like martial arts, yoga, Pilates, and other disciplines that require years of training, study, and ongoing education. Kettlebells are something that can't be learned in a weekend. That's what makes them so effective, fun, and challenging, and adds to your gym's bottom line as clients keep coming back for more. Industry leaders turn to Kettlebell Concepts for education, products, and business solutions for Kettlebell programming. KBC's highly credentialed, seasoned instructors have the background, experience, and time in the trenches that our clients demand. Here's what some of our clients have to say. KBC's very well-designed course provided both classroom and practical application of Kettlebell use. My personal trainers utilize kettlebells in semi-private and group classes. They've opened a whole new revenue stream to our club. And KBC has been instrumental in the professional growth of our personal trainers, as well as their thousands of clients. I highly recommend the KBC educational track to increase knowledge in one of the hottest modalities in the industry. In business since 2002, Kettlebell Concepts has trained over 5,000 instructors worldwide. Our point-by-point -point turnkey system for in-club rollout will get your facility's kettlebell program up and running properly, safely, and fast. Contact us today to learn more about kettlebell training for your personal trainers, group exercise instructors, PTs, OTs, or other healthcare professionals. Kettlebell Concepts your one-stop shop for kettlebell education, products, and programming solutions. Hi there, Vincent Metzo here, Director of Education for Kettlebell Concepts. Kettlebell Concepts is the business-to-business -business leader in kettlebell education for highly qualified, currently practicing fitness professionals globally. What we're gonna talk about here from the Swedish Institute Functional Training Facility is safety with respect to kettlebells. We're gonna talk specifically about overhead pressing today and the connection between wrist, elbow, shoulder, and shoulder girdle movements and alignments. Kettlebell concepts, when we teach our courses at facilities around the country and around the world, emphasizes the safe, relevant, and effective application of kettlebells to the training environment, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or whether it's small group personal training. Of course, a highly qualified fitness professional is a prerequisite. Then that fitness professional needs to be specifically trained in kettlebell technique to be able to ensure that clients perform the exercises safely. first exercise we're going to talk about is the overhead press. Now the overhead press starts with a solid rack position. The rack position is what we call it when we hold the kettlebell here, part between our bicep and our forearm, forearm straight, 
wrist straight, no extension, and the handle diagonally across the hand. It's very important to learn to hold the kettlebell in this proper position with the wrist straight. As soon as the wrist is extended, not only does it put stress on the wrist, but it creates another axis of rotation which destabilizes the shoulder when we're overhead. So if my wrist is extended and I'm overhead, now there's more likelihood of the kettlebell destabilizing my shoulder and causing it to medially rotate or laterally rotate and putting me in a disadvantageous, potentially injurious position. So in the proper rack position, we've got a straight wrist. As we press up, the elbow moves through the sagittal plane. Shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So instead of having the shoulder come out to the side, the shoulder, or excuse me, the elbow goes straight up through the sagittal plane. In the top or the lockout position, the wrist is straight, the elbow is straight, the bicep is in line with or behind the ear, and the shoulder blade is pulling downward and stable. When we bring the bell down, we bring it right down the way it came. Sadly, many of our clients don't have the shoulder mobility yet in order to be able to do a proper overhead press. So what they often do is press dumbbells, barbells, or kettlebells here, which puts a lot of stress on the shoulder and adds to impingement problems. Learning and striving for the full range of motion when you press overhead is one of the most important technique tips to instill in your clients. Even then, some clients may not have the range of motion in the shoulder yet in order to be able to do that movement. So there are a couple of exercises that we include in our progressions. First one would be what's called a ribbon. The ribbon starts in the bottoms up by the horns position. We go from one hip around the shoulder, behind the head, and down to the other hip. The goal is that in the back of the movement, the kettlebell is between the shoulder blades with the elbows pointing up. Clients who are lacking in flexibility will tend to arch their backs when they do this to make up for the lack of range of motion in their shoulders. So what we want to do in order to move the, mobilize the scapula is really keep the abs tight and the ribs in. An additional exercise is the halo, where we just go around the head without that additional movement down to the hip. One of the last exercises that you could use in a corrective progression to mobilize the scapula before doing overhead presses would be to do a simple tense and release stretch. Think of lifting up the kettlebell, contracting the lats, and then relax the arms down. Lifting up, contracting the lats, and relax the arms down. You could also do this one hand at a time, lifting up and relaxing down. And lifting up, contracting the muscle, stimulating the Golgi tendon organs, and relaxing down. This is a good way to develop that flexibility and could be included as part of an active warm-up. So again, I'm Vincent Metzo from Kettlebell Concepts, Director of Education, and we're here at the Swedish Institute Functional Training Facility talking about injury prevention and overhead mechanics with kettlebells. Please download our white paper at the URL right below me kettlebellconcepts.com to get more information on our trainings and on inner injury prevention. Thank you. Well, thanks, Vince. I mean, that is very helpful information when it comes to kettlebells. Really, yes, we need to... Yes, what an expert. We really need to understand how to use them correctly. So, really, next, Kath, we're going to go back to our injury prevention program, and we're going to take a look at joint inflammation.